ファンの方、あのー、写真撮る方、どうぞ前の方ご説明になってください。Uh, good morning, everybody. Actually, it's not morning. Sorry, it's afternoon. <laughs> my mistake. My, main, my name is David McNeil.、Uh, I'm a member of the、uh, events committee of this club.、Uh, well,、um, Johnny and Associates has definitely won the battle of the weather.、Uh, yesterday, they had far better weather for their、uh, press conference. So, thank you, everybody, for turning up in such large numbers.、Uh, well, most of you, I'm sure, in the room will have seen yesterday's press conference where、uh, Julie Fujishima, the president of Johnny and Associates, Uh, resigned after a dam break of revelations about predatory sexual abuse、uh, by the talent agency's founder and her uncle,、uh, Johnny Kitagawa. A special investigative panel in August concluded that Kitagawa san had started molesting boys at the agency as early as the 1960s, possibly the 50s, and said the company's family management was a key reason why the abuse was allowed to continue、uh, for so long. Now, if one person can take credit for starting this whole investigation and where we are now, it's the man sitting here at the table beside me, Kawan Okamoto,、uh, in April. He challenged the silence on claims of abuse when he told this club, the FCCJ,、uh, that he had been the target of repeated and unwanted、uh, sexual attention by Kitagawa from 2012 until he left、uh, four years later. Like so many others, Okamoto san said that his initiation began in Kitagawa's penthouse、uh, apartment and was seen as the unspoken price that boys at the agency paid for stardom. After months of tumultuous developments,、uh, Okamoto san has agreed to return to the FCCJ today and give his assessment of where we are now.、Uh, has the investigation essentially put a lid on、uh, this whole scandal, the lid, of course, that Okamoto san lifted? Uh, way back in the spring.、Uh, so please, he's going to read a statement. Please give him the best of your attention, as I always do at these press conferences. Can I just appeal for respect for the subject, which is a very serious subject?、Uh, our translator or interpreter today, sorry, is Mary Joyce. Yoroshi Kono Gai Sumasu. Hello, everyone. Thank you all for being here. This is Kawan Komoto. Today I'm here to make a speech in response to yesterday's press conference held by Johnny and Associates. I appreciate your attention on this matter. Mina san, Honjis or Esurashi Naka, Asmarita Dagimashte, Reto Zemas. Sakajis, Janiz Jimushoga, Kaiken o k o n e m a s h a ジャニーズ事務所の性加害問題については、僕がここで行った会見によって、世の中の注目を招いたこともあり、事務所の会見後、なるべく早いタイミングで、僕
僕の気持ちをお話しし、僕自身も次のステップに進みたいと思っておりました。そこで、今日このような場を設けさせていただきました。Hello, everybody, and thank you for、uh, joining or being here today. Yesterday, Johnny and Association held, Associates held a press conference and regarding the issue of the sexual abuse related issues of the company, I wanted to give my own press conference as soon as possible after that as well, which is why I'm taking the opportunity to have this press conference today. Further, I wanted to do this also because I myself want to progress to the next step, so this is why I have this opportunity with you. 振り返れば、4月12日に、まさにこの場所で、僕が過去に体験したことを率直にお話ししました。その時点では、正直言えば、ここまで社会に衝撃を与える大きな出来事になるということは想像できませんでした。そもそも、あの時の僕には、そういう問題にまで発展させようという意識はありませんでした。Looking back at the time on April 12, when I held the press conference at this very same place as today, and spoke frankly about what I had experienced in the past. To be honest, at that time, I had no idea that this would、uh, develop or expand into such a major event which would have such an impact on the broader society. Nor did I have any deliberate intention to develop it into such an issue at that time in the first place. ま、顔を出してそれを打ち明けることでその後何が起きるかについて予想していないわけではありませんでしたがただあの時の僕は恨みを晴らすとか同情されたいとかそんな気持ちがあったのではなく自分に嘘をついて生きていくのはもう
自分や大切な人たちに嘘をつかずに済むようになったのはなったことは僕の人生にとってとてもとても大きな変化となりました。そして、事務所が性加害の事実を認め、謝罪をし、被害者への賠償を具体的に進めていくことが発表されたことで、僕自身、心が少し楽になりました。また、社長も交代し、経営体制も一新されることも発表されました。会社の規則も厳しくして、世間の目にさらされていくということな、さらされていくという中、今、ジャニーズ事務所に僕からこれ以上何かを言うことはもうないと思いますしかし僕を含めた被害者の方々の心の傷はそう簡単に言えることではないと心に刻んでいただきたいです新社長の東山さんもおっしゃっていましたが一生の命をかけてでも皆さんに向き合っていく覚悟は本当に必要だと思っています And now that Johnny and Associates, the agency, has recognized the facts, acknowledged the facts of the sexual abuse, made an apology, and has also said that it will proceed to concrete compensation for the victims, this is something which allows me myself to feel somewhat at ease. The fact that there has also been a change in the president, and it was also announced that there will be a renewal of the management structure of the agency. The fact that the society's eyes will continue to be strictly on the agency and as it will also become stricter in regards to its rules or policies means that for me standing here today, there is not anything more, anything further that I myself would have to say to Johnny and Associates. However, I also uh, take very much to heart the fact that it is not an easy thing to uh, fully heal the psychological wounds of those who were victimized, including myself. Uh, the new president, Mr. Higashiyama, said himself also, but this is something that he will spend his, or is something that for everybody it will take an entire lifetime to continue to facing up, and I think、uh, needs to be prepared for this. 思い返すと、4月12日の会見後、短い期間でさまざまなことがありました。中でも、予想もしていなかったこととして、ジュリーさんに直接お会いすることができましたお会いした時の状況についてはこれまでの動画などでお話ししていますがジュリーさんという方に一人の人間として接することができる貴重な機会でしたそしてお会いして早々僕が苦しい思いをしてきたことについて謝ってもいただきました僕が経験したことそれによって苦しんだことについて寄り添ってくれようとする気持ちは感じました Looking back in the short period of time since the April 12 press conference, many things have happened during this period. One of perhaps the most unexpected within this was the opportunity to meet Julie in person.、Uh, as to the details of that meeting, this I have discussed in various、uh, videos and so on. However, it was a very precious opportunity to get to know Julie as a person. As soon, actually,、uh, quite soon after we met, she Even apologized to me for the suffering that I had been through. And I felt that I could sense that she was trying, in a way, to be there for me and to、uh, stand by me through what I had experienced and suffered as a result. So, Julie さんは僕に今ジャニーズ事務所に所属している全タレントたちが性加害にあったからスターになれたんだと思われることや本人たちの努力なしで活躍してこられたと思われるのが悲しししいとおっしゃっゃてました僕もそこに関しては同意見でしたタレントたちに罪はないです the... <笑>僕が見てきたジャニーズのタレントというのはどんな厳しい状況の中でも笑顔でステージに立ちファンの皆さんに夢と希望を与える存在でした at that time Julie said to me 
that she would feel extremely sad if all of the talents who are now active and affiliated with Johnny and Associates, if it was thought that they had become stars because of the fact that they had been through this sexual abuse, or that people would think that they were not able to become stars just because of their own efforts there as well. I also feel the same in regards to this. The talents themselves, there is no fault on their side. The talents that I have seen from Johnny's through the, uh, through the years shows that no matter what kind of difficult circumstances they in, they're in, they stand on the stage with a smile and do all they can to be a presence which provides dreams and hopes to all of the fans. そして4月の会見でもお話ししましたが、僕自身はジャニーズ事務所という場についての感謝と、エンターテインメントの用意させてくれたジャニー氏を恨みきれない思いは、世間にグルーミングと言われても、今でもあります。自分自身を認めるためにも、過去を全否定することはできません。これまでの数ヶ月間で、同じような被害に遭われた、遭われたたくさんの方々が声を上げました。その中には、これまで苦しみを閉じ込めてきたことに対して、償ってほしいという方々がたくさんいます。実際何があって、それでどう苦しんだかは、人の数だけあると思いますし、それに対しての決着のつけ方も、それぞれあると思います。I also spoke about this during the press conference in April as well. But I myself do still have gratitude towards Johnny and Associates, and also to Johnny himself, or in regards to Johnny himself, who was the person who showed me this dream of the world of entertainment. I cannot completely、uh, feel hatred towards him either. Even if、uh, people say that this is grooming, this is the feeling that I hold with me today as well. In order for me to acknowledge、uh, myself as well, then I cannot completely deny the past which I have come through as well. During the past few months,、uh, many other people who have been through similar victimization have spoken out. And within them are people, many people who say that they want、uh, or they seek compensation for the pain in which they have been locked. However, of course, what happened and what kind of suffering they experienced, you know, there is as many different ways of suffering as there are people who have been through this as well. And in regards to this, also, their way of finding a way to settle the matter will also be different for each of those people. I was born in the United States. I was born in the u n i 関わる中で自分の家族やルーツを守りたいと思うようになりましたこれから先僕はもう前に進みます今回こういう行動を取ったという過去は消えることはありませんのでその責任からは逃げずにいたいと思いますができるだけ未来を向きたいです、uh, And、uh, here and raised in Japan. I have lived together with the music that I love and the different、uh, encounters that I have experienced as well. And within this, I have become wanting to protect both my family and my roots as well. From now, I will continue to move forward. Of course, the fact that I have taken these actions is not something that, and that I have this past, is not something that will disappear. And I do not want to run away from this responsibility as well. However, I want to, as much as possible, look toward the future. このような経験をして、そのすべてをさらけ出した僕が、だからこそ見てくれている人々に勇気を与えていけると信じています。人は誰でも失敗しますもう立ち上がれないと思うようなこともう行きたくないと思うようなことはいっぱいあります僕は受け入れる方の許すではなくて施しの許すでそれらを乗り越えていけると信じています日本そしてブラジルを代表できるようなアーティストになって必ず帰ってきます最後になりますが僕がずっと抱えてきた心の苦しみに耳を傾けてくださった皆様、本当に心からありがとうございました。ポイント、オブリガード。Uh, the fact that, or as someone who has indeed s p o k e up and shared everything about the experience that I went through, I believe is something which has also been able to give courage to other people who have been watching this as well. 
everybody, of course, anybody makes mistakes. There are also times when you may think it is not possible to stand up and keep going, or where you may not even want to continue living. However, when I think about forgiveness, I do not want to have, or to have a kind of forgiveness which is just accepting. Rather, I want to overcome this situation by looking at a kind of forgiving through pardoning, including those who are giving arms uh, against this as well. I will, I am uh, committed, I'm uh, certain to become an artist who can truly represent both Japan and Brazil, and I will be back. And finally, I would like to express my very deep and sincere thanks to everybody who has uh, paid heed and listened to the different suffering that I have continued to experience. Muito obrigado. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Um, okay, well, it is a press conference, uh, so I'll open it up for questions. If you would like to ask a question, can you uh, raise your hand, please? Uh, can you, when you come to the microphone, can you identify yourself? And can I urge no speeches, just questions, please? Uh, this gentleman. This gentleman. With our times. First, I'm going to ask in English, then I, I'm going to translate it into, my, uh, into Japanese by myself. So uh, I have two quick questions. Mr. Okamoto, you mentioned that you, you don't have any other things to add to, toward Johnny and Associate. But uh, there has been a lot of criticism toward the, the press conference yesterday. They ap apologized, but they don't have any concrete uh, plans. And uh, they just said that they're present will be changed. So what's your assessment on the, their press conference itself? We ju I just wanted to ask about that. Uh, and, and quickly, secondly, are you, I just wanted to know your status of uh, re relation with uh, Johnny and Associates. Uh, are you in, already settled with them or in process of settling them or you have any agreement with them to, uh, to cooperate together or anything? So I know, our time is on Ogata desu ka? Futatsu shitsumon nan desu keredomo. つは、ま、これ以上ジャニーズについて言いたいことはないということをおっしゃってて、それはよくわかるんですが、一方で昨日の記者会見ですね、記者長交代しましたけれども、ま、具体的な話が全然なくて非常に批判もたくさん来てます
the fact that first of all, Johnny and Associates acknowledged the sexual abuse and they also stated their intention to provide compensation, compensation for the victims. Uh, these two points are, for me, things that I see as being very significant. There are also the other points such as the changing of the presidency of the agency, other different recommendations and legal aspects which were also uh, in relation to the agency as well. Uh, frankly, for me, these are not things which I am so uh, certain about or have such an understanding of. But personally, uh, as the, the points which are important to me were made clear in this press conference, I feel that I do not myself have anything further to add. Of course, that does not mean that everything is just okay. I want to continue to, of course, protect myself. As for the content of the compensation, this is something which I believe there will need to be a discussion from now about as well. I personally also only learned about this while I was watching the press conference yesterday. It is not that there has been any contact directly from Johnny and Associates. And also, I met Julie on that one occasion However, um, there has not been any further, you know, discussion or points uh, as to that. So that raises the second point. あと付け加えるとやっぱりまあかなりあの長くなると思います。この性加害のこと自体が払拭、事務所の払拭をすることやまああの本人たちもあのおっしゃってましたが、こう会社をこうもっといい方向に。あの生まれ直すっていうのは僕はスピーチでも言いましたがそう簡単なことではないと思いますし東山さんが言っていた輸出をかけてやっていく覚悟があると言っていましたがそれは本当に必要だと思いますし一人一人、えー、たくさんの方々がいるので一人一人に話をちゃんと聞いてあげて一人一人に対して向き合って保証だったりそういう。ふうに行っていくと言っていましたが本当にその辺はやっていただきたいですね。And to add on to this, I believe that this process will be something which will continue for a very long time from now as well. When we look at these different misacts of the university and also, uh, sorry, the agency and also the, the people involved themselves, when we look at the questions, for example, of how the agency can shift so that it is in or working toward a better direction, also how it can even be reborn, as I mentioned before, this is not something which is going to be easy. As the new president said in the press conference yesterday as well, this is something which he is prepared to spend his whole life dealing with, and I believe that this is something necessary. Of course, uh, there are so many different victims who are involved in this, and each and every person ensuring that they will be talked to one by one on an individual basis, that each of their situations will be uh, dealt with and faced up to directly as well, including, of course, the issue of compensation is something that I sincerely hope will happen from now. As I as I understand it, there's two, well, two main points of controversy yesterday. One was that Julie Sam would stay on as representative director, but the main point was that the uh, name of the company remains unchanged. A lot of people found that very hard to accept. The name would permanently be attached to this person who was serially abusing, uh, sexually abusing boys. Do you think, you, you mentioned the word reborn. Do you think the company can be reborn with that name? 昨日の会見を受けて、2つの、まあ、今あの、いろいろと議論を呼んでいるポイントがあるかと思います。1つは、ジュリーさんはあの社長としては辞任したんだけれども、代表取締りとしてはまだあのその立場を取っているということが1つ、そしてあの名前が変わらないという、ジャニーズという名前であの今後も引き続きいるということで、まあ、それをなかなか受け入れることがまあ難しいというような声はあります。そのような声を考えますと、やはりそのまあ大きなそのまあ性犯罪を起こした人の本人の名前がついている会社が、まあ、先ほど名前の中で生まれ変わるというお言葉があったんですけれどもその名前が残っている状,況、まあ、状態で生まれ変わることは本当に可能というふうに思いますでしょうかいや僕は正直そのジャニーズの名前をあの使い続けることに関してはびっくりしましたね。あの僕はほぼほぼ何ですか100の可能性で変わると思っていた部分があってもちろん寂しい部分はありますけどあのまあ世間の反応もあの見ていたんですけどまあ同意見だなと思う部分がすごくあってジャニーズ事務所
としてのこう功績やこう夢を与えて人々を笑顔にした功績は消えることはないですがこのようなふうに全てが出てしまった中でジャニーズ事務所としてジャニーズっていう名前を使い続ける継続するっていうことはうんむしろマイナスなのかなと思いますのでうん僕も変わった方が心が一変して会社も一変してうんやっていけるのじゃないかなと思います。はい Honestly, for me, I was very surprised that they announced that they will continue to be using the name of Johnny's and Associates to continue with Johnny's name from now. I thought that it was almost certain, close to 100%, that the name, that they would change the name of the agency. Of course, in a way, you know, it might be sad in a sense, and I think we felt the same when we look at the response of the public and sharing that opinion as well. However, of course, looking at the different achievements over the years, the dreams and the smiles which have been brought to people by Johnny and Associates over the years, that is something which will not disappear. But now that all of the facts is now out in the open, the fact that they will continue to use to maintain the name of Johnny's, I think this will rather have a negative impact on the company, actually. I think that it would indeed be better to change the name, to have also the change in the agency going forward so that it can move into a new era instead. Thank you. The gentleman here in front. Nishimura Freelance. Let me ask in Japanese. I'm going to ask you to ask me. 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 I'm g 所属のタレントでありまたスポンサー企業であり我々メディアでもありそしてそのビジネスを支えるのはファンではないかと思うんですねあのどこかの、まあ、ドームでコンサートがあれば全国からファンがそこに行って楽しみにしてみるとそういう立場から考えてですねそのファンの方々今回の問題を見て今後もジャニーズファンを続けていいのかどうかと。考えていいいる人も多いんではないかと思います川本さんは前回の記者会見であのフ,ァンにファンの方に対してこういった事実があることも考えた上でファンとして応援してほしいという考えを言われてましたけれどもこの性加害事務所が認めたという段階でですねファンの方々がまあ応援することがジャニーズ事務所を応援することにもなるわけで。どうし今後どうしたらいいかということについて、川村さんの考えをお聞きしたいのと、その逆に、事務所は今後ですね、あのタレントに対しては保証するということですが、ファンに対しては何をすべきだと思いますか。じゃあ、以後にお願いします。Uh, to translate the question, this is Mr. Nishimura Freelance. He has a question in regards to Mr. Cullen's thinking regards the fans.、Uh, looking at, of course, this is connected to business, and it is the fans who are supporting the business, both of the agency, the sponsor corporations, the media, and so on as well. The fans, of course, looking forward to the concerts and so on. And so, looking at, with,、uh, taking, uh, looking at what this issue and what has come to light, what the facts are, whether fans can indeed stay fans of Johnny and Associates from now as well. In the previous press conference, Mr. Cowan、uh, mentioned that, or his message for the fans was that he hoped that they would stay fans and continue support to support, but while recognizing the facts of what happened as well. But now that we are in the situation where this sexual abuse has indeed been acknowledged by the agency, What, well, if the fans do continue to support, does that also equal you know, supporting Johnny, supporting the agency in that way? So, what is Mr. Cowan's message or what is his thinking in regards to how the fans should respond in regards to this? And also to flip、uh, the question in the other way as well, to think about the fact that if the agency is providing compensation for the talents who were victimized, what is it that the agency should be doing in regards to the fans? 最初の質問なんですけど、えー、前回僕がこういった事実を、えー、本当にまだ誰も世間の今の特に世間がまだ誰も知らない時にあの知っていてもこう信じがたい時に、えー、この事実をあの知った上であの分かった上で
あの応援してほしいとファンの方々にも言いましたが今、認められてあの認められた上でやっぱりそのもちろんいろんなファンの方々のコメントやもちろん僕に対してのファンの方々は僕に対しての誹謗中傷とかもあったりするんですけど僕はそ,のそれにすらやっぱりこう思いを感じますしそれは守りたいですしタレントだから僕に対してあのお前がジャニーズ・ミッションを壊してんだとかあの最低だとかたくさん来ますけど僕はそういう人たちに対して何かこう恨みとかは。あのないですし、まあ、たまにあのカチンときますけど<笑>あのだけどあの基本的に、まあ、どんなことを言われてもやっぱりそれはファンなのでそれはどこまでもついていくしああの自分の好きなタレントにそれは素敵なことだと思いますし、うん、でこれ以上もうあの何か証明することとかはないと僕は思うので。うん、これで皆さんがどういうふうに応援していくかどうかは一人一人が決めることですけど僕はあのジャニーズ事務所にあのさっきの2つ目の質問にもつながるんですけどあのどうファンに返していくかっていうのはどう何フ,ァンにファンに何ができるかっていうのはやっぱりそれこそ生き残ってエンターテインメントで返していくジャニー氏なしのエンターテインメントで返していく覚悟をがないとダメだと思いますしまあそれを僕は望んでますねはい。In regards to the first question as well the when I previously spoke here when I gave the press conference at that time it was when this situation the facts of this were not known at all had not been spoken about And when many people in the public opinion and so on、uh, had the response that it was quite difficult to believe many things when I did、uh, stand at that time. However, I did,、uh, as mentioned, ask the fans then to recognize, acknowledge what had happened to, to continue their support as well. And while, of course, now that this situation has indeed been acknowledged, of course, there have been many different responses from fans, many different comments from fans,、uh, including some which are support, but some which are of a defamatory nature as well.、And、this is perhaps naturally. In a way, when they want to protect you know, their favorite talents, when they want to、um, stay on their side. For example, receiving comments saying that I am responsible for destroying Johnny and Associates, telling me that I'm the worst. But I do not hold any kind of hatred in regards to these k i n d of comments. Well, of course, they some, can sometimes really get to me and feel very annoying in a way.、Uh, however, in regards to this, of course,、um, It, it's up to the fans themselves. You know, they are the fans, and it is, they are the ones to decide how it is that they want to continue to、uh, support their, their favorite talents and so on as well. This is not something for which there is anything more for me to prove and so on. This is something for, for each, each of the fans themselves to think about how they will continue to support themselves and、uh, the agency. In regards to the second question as to what Johnny and Associates、uh, can do for the fans as well, I think. What they should be doing there is, first of all, looking at how to survive and then return in a different way to provide this kind of entertainment without Johnny himself. They need to be prepared and able to do so, and I hope that、um, that, that will be the case. Thank you.、Um, there's a lady here in the front. I, I saw your hand first, and then it's Teddy at the back, and then this lady here in the second row. Oh, my gosh, Mas. Ah, no, my no, my no, Kata. BSTBS 報道1930の赤岩と申します。日本語でお願いいたします。お願いします。カーワンさんはあの4月の会見の時にメディアが報じていれば自分はあの事務所に入ることはないということをおっしゃいました。あのメディアにももちろんまあすごく大きな問題が今回あったと思っています。でそのメディアが報じる一つのきっかけになったのであろう、まあ、週刊文春との裁判がありましたでこの時まあメディアと同時に事務所の方の対応もすごく問われたんではないかと思うんですねその時事務所の結あごめんなさい裁判の結果を事務所の中でどう受け止め誰とどこまで情報共有がどのようになされたのかというところが特別チームの報告書でも昨日の会見でもあの、まあ、広報メディアの担当であった白羽瀬氏が会見には出ないなどあのそこの検証が足りていないのではないかというふうに思っています
、でもちろん、昨日の会見で被害者の方への補償ということは、もちろん具体策はないものの,ものの打ち出されましたが、会社が生まれ変わるためには、やはり過去の検証というものも必要だと思うんですね。でそこの、まあ、検証をカウアンさんからご覧になって、まだ事務所が裏あの生まれ変わるために、そこは十分かどうか、まだまだ、まあ、文春のこの裁判の時の受け止めにかかわらず、あのまあ、どういうふうに足りないのかどうかとか、どういうふうな感じになっているか、お聞かせください。Um, during the April press conference, you mentioned that if the media had already been reporting about、um, the situation, then you likely would not have joined Johnny's and Associates, the agency. So we need to recognize there is, of course, these issues or the problems with the media as well.、Uh, however, when we look at, for example, when there was an opportunity for this to become more talked about, this was at the time of the lawsuit with Bunshun. When we look at, of course, there is the question of the media, but also the question of how the agency responded at that time as well in regards to what kind of information. Was Was disclosed, how this was conveyed, and so on as well. When we look at the results of the special、uh, committee, the third party committee, which was set up, or also what was mentioned during the press conference yesterday, for example, The fact that the、uh, person responsible for media within Johnny's,、uh, Shirahazu, was not speaking, was not present at the press conference yesterday, seems that we need to you know, question whether indeed there has been a sufficient investigation of the facts of what had happened in the past as well. The press conference yesterday did mention about compensation to the victims, despite not being necessarily so concrete. But looking at, in order for the agency to truly be reborn, perhaps a full investigation into the facts of what has happened in the past is necessary. So I'd like to ask Mr. Cowan if you think. Uh, whether this is sufficient and if not, what is lacking? It's a bit of a question, but I think it's a bit of a question. 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 I think it's a bit 生き残ってほしい、望んでいるって思う一方で、あの正直あの、もうすまずは最初は認める、認めないとか、まあ、これがどうなるか本当に分からなかった中で、ここまで認められて、えー、保証していくことだったりとか、えー、社長変わったりとか、まあ、行動はあの出始めた大きな一歩ではあると思うんで。しそのただ、今言っている細かいことだったりとか、えー、たくさんあると思いますで、それを本当に真摯になって、どんどんこうも,っともっともっともっと真摯になって、ほどいていかないと、多分生き残れないと思いますね、ジャニーズ務所は。それはもう思いますし、だからこそ、そういう意味でも応援してますね、ちゃんとそこは全部してっていう、じゃないと。まあ、数字が通らないでしょうっていうところと、まあ、隠してももうしょうがないことがいっぱいあるのでもうだって認められてしまったことで今後今,今,今からこそもう全部こう認めていってあのクリーンにしていかないと先ほどファンの方々のことも言いましたがあの何でしょうねその全部が全部失っても事務所はファンを失わないので何度でも立ち上がれるのでそこは怖がらずにやってほしいですね。So that is a little bit of a difficult question, but I'll share some of my thoughts as regards to this. As I was listening to, as you're saying, it made me realize yes, well, there is indeed not a full explanation about many things, and there is a lot more things, including what happened in the past, which need to be looked into even further. While I do want Johnny and Associates to survive, at the same time,、um, honestly, when I look at It was, it was before so uncertain whether they would even, as the first step, acknowledge what happened or not. So the fact that they have come as far as acknowledging what happened,、uh, saying that they will provide some kind of compensation, and announcing the change in the presidency of the company as well, I believe that these are the first steps towards action.、Uh, so these are very important that these have been made. However, there are many different detailed points, as were mentioned now, which are still remain. And so I hope that they will even more sincerely、uh, face up to these and look at. How to、uh, step forward and untangle all of these different issues which are still remaining. If they're not、uh, able to do this as well, I don't think that Johnny and Associates will indeed survive. And of course, this is why indeed I support them in、uh, going forward and taking this. If they do not、uh, take these kind of steps, then I don't think that this is something which will be accepted. 
the facts cannot just be hidden now that it has already been um, you know, come to light. Therefore, need to look at how to create, recognize everything that has happened to date and create a new clean slate. As I was mentioning when I spoke about the fans before as well, even if Johnny as a company loses everything, the fans will still be there. So I do believe that it is possible. Thank you. Teddy, uh, next, please. Um, there's a lot of hands up, so can I ask, please, that you only ask one question and that you keep your question short? Uh, I also co-chair the committee that organized this press conference today. Video News の Jimbo と言います。ここのあの今日の会見を主催している委員会委員会の委員長をやってます。あのカマさんどうもありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。どうしても聞きたいのはあの BBC がドキュメンタリーを放送しても基本的に日本のメディアはまだ沈黙を続けてたんですね。まあ無視したんです。しかしカマさんがここに来て顔出しして記者会見をやったら。ようやくまあ報道が始まった、最初はまあ動きが悪いところもありましたけど、始まった、そして今、ここに来て、ですねもうあの記者会見も行われて、あのように中継もされ、メディアはまあまあどこも報じているわけです、この問題を。カーワンさんから見て、あ,ある種、言い出しっぺの、唇を切ったカーワンさんから見て、そのメディアの変化というのは、どういうふうに見てますか、つまり、ようやくまあ十分に反省して報じているのか。もう報じざるを得なくなって、もうしょうがなしに報じているけど、まあ、ご都合主義的なものなので、まあ、そのうちまた、えー、どうせやめるだろうというようなレベルのものだと見ているのかが一つ、それがどうしてもこれだけ聞かせてください、その告発によって、カウアンさんの,あの人生というものがどう変わったのか、それはエンターテイナーとしてでも、個人としてでもそうなんですが、どのような変化が生じ、また昨日の会見、ジャニーズの会見によって、まあ、一,つ一段落だというふうにおっしゃっているけど、それ,それは、同じ質問で川田さんにとって、えー、これから進んでいく上でどのような意味を持ちどのような変化をもたらすものになるのかすみませんがその2点お願いします。はい Uh, two questions. First of all, looking at the situation in Japan, where even when the BBC documentary was released, the Japanese media remained silent and largely ignored the issue. However, it was only by you, Kawan, coming here, showing your face, and holding a press conference that they finally started to report about this, albeit with somewhat、um, slow、um, moves in regards to this. Now we see the situation where we have another press conference, there is great attention, and all of the media is reporting about this. As the first person to come and speak out publicly about this, how do Do you observe this change in the media during this time? And、uh, also looking at、uh, do you think that this will continue? Do you think that this is really a change and that the media is looking honestly or regretting in regards to how it has been in the past? Or do you think that they are reporting just because they cannot avoid it, that they have to, and they will eventually、uh, become quiet on this issue again? And the second question, looking at、uh, through your speaking out about this, would like to ask how this has changed your life since then, whether on the level as an entertainer or on a personal level as well. And the same question in regards to yesterday's press conference. You said that this is, in some sense, you know, putting a full stop on one period in regards to this. But what kind of either、uh, significance or change do you find from the press conference yesterday? Hi.、Uh... すごいシビアな質問をしていただいてありがとうございます。あのメディアに関してですね、あのもうあのここに立つまではあのほとんどあの日本のメディアとは関わることはなかったですし、あのここに立ってからね、外国とか委員会協会であのやってから今おっしゃったようにメディアがどんどん取り上げるようになって、いろんな人がいろんな方々と出会いました。今日も。あの何時間も僕の話を聞いていただいた個別に話を聞いていただいた記者さんが何人もいらっしゃってます、えー、僕は本当にあの一つのメディアっていうくくりもそうですけど一人一人の、えー、人間っていうのがいてもちろん明らかにあのいやいややってるなっていう人もいますしあの僕のことを本当に親身に聞いていただいている。えー、方々もたくさんいますでメディア全体に関してもそうですけどまあ仕方なく最初はやったじゃないですかそれはもうあのみんな知ってることですなのであのもうでもそれは認められる前であったのでまあ仕方ないところもあると思いますし
、えー、そう簡単なことではないと思いますが、まあ、こう認められた以上、えー、メディアも一新して、反省して、あのー、変わっていってほしいなっていう思いはあります。そして世間は多分ほっとかないので、あのー、ちゃんと、あのやっていただきたいなと思います。はい。So thank you for a very、uh, severe question.、Uh, first of all, in regards to the media, of course, until I stood here and gave the press conference, I did not really have any、um, engagement or any sort of direct experience with the, me- the Japanese media. But since then, since speaking at the FCCJ, of course, as you said, the media has been reporting about this、uh, a great amount, and there has been a lot of attention, a lot of media questions, and so on. Um, and looking at you know, how they are, for example, even today there were reporters who really I was on the phone with, they listened to me for you know, hours, even at a time as well. Within the media, of course, I don't want to speak to, of them as just one、um, large one,、uh, group, which is all the same. Each and every individual is different within the media. There are some, of course, who clearly are quite reluctant to be working about this. There are others who are very sincerely listening to me and、uh, hearing me really when I'm talking as well. I think when the media was first, Talking about this, it was partly because they, they couldn't avoid it. Of course, this is something which you all know. However, that was before Johnny's had recognized, had acknowledged what had happened. Now that this has actually been acknowledged as well, I hope that this will be a, a chance or a time that the media itself will, will change, will really look at you know, regretting as to what has happened until now and have this change for the better. And I think that public opinion will also you know, follow along with that. そして2つ目の、えー、と質問に関してですけど僕の人生何が変わったかっていう質問なんですけどさっきの,あのメディアの1個目の質問にもつながるんですけどさっきいろんな人がいると人生でいろんな人がいると僕は言ったんですけど、えー、記者の方々もあのいろんな人がいますし僕の周りにも出会ってきた人たちにもいろんな人がいますで僕はそこは人生何を大事にしているかだと思うんですよねでそれが明らかに出るんですよね人と関わってるとで今回のことで本当によりそれがはっきりしたというかやっぱりあの物質的な表面的な、えー、記録だったりとかその名声だったり、まあ、お金だったりあのそういうものだけそれをメインとして追ってる人たちっていうのはやっぱり僕の言ってることは多分理解できないですねだけど僕のさっきの記者さんの人,々人々だったりとかも僕の話を聞いて明らかに情熱を持って愛を持って本当に自分の家族がその身になった時に本当に辛いんだと本当に守りたいんだと自分もこういう日本を変えたいんだと思う人々がたくさんいたので僕はそういう方々を大事にしていきたいしそれは仕事で関わる人でもあのプライベートで関わる人もあの大事にしていきたいっていうっていうかそういう人たちとしか関わりたくないぐらいまでもう僕はあの思った出来事だったしあのでそういう人たちはいるのであの生きる希望になりますしあと、うん、やっぱりこの場を借りてやっぱ僕のこのことで一番じゃあ誰が辛いかって言ったら僕のお母さんですよね。お母さんがどんな思いでこの僕のこの出来事を聞いてあのあの日々生きてるかとかまあそういう気持ちもあの普段思うことだっていっぱいあるし僕はいいんだけどまだやっぱお母さんにやっぱなかなか言えなかったこといっぱいあるしだそういうすませんそういうそういう思いには二度とさせたくないなっていうでまあお母さんもすごいいろいろ誹謗中傷を浴びたりとかまあお前の息子はあの嘘つきだとか、まあ、金だけ欲しいだろうとか売名だろうとか言われて続けて今でも多分言われてますしでも応援する人も多いですけどだから簡単な問題じゃないですねだから僕はその今回も前に住みたいっていうのもあのそういう
あのことにこれ以上家族とか自分の気持ちを置きたくないし、まあ、大きな一歩で認められてそして僕もこの場を借りていたのはやっぱり取材でも言ってますけどあのこういうことが本当にあるんだと誰,も誰が想像して誰が確信してたかあの一番夢を与えた自分ジャニーズ事務所があの裏ではそういうことがあったってみんなが多分衝撃だったと思うし15歳の僕もそれをやられた瞬間もう信じられなかったです何を信じてこう俺はこういう目をかけていけばいいかってステージに立てばいいかって本当に悩んだ時期がたくさんあったしこの会見も最初やる時も僕を支えてくれたさっき言った愛のある家族だったり友達だったりこういう時に出るんですよねやっぱ誰がそばにいるかとか,だか簡単なので最初の,あのうまく今こうやって認められてから「お前すげえじゃん」とか「よかったじゃん」って言うのは簡単ですよでも最初から誰も信じてない時に誰がそばにいたかってそれが全てなんでなんか僕の人生で学んだことはそれですねそして僕はもうさっきエンターテインメントとか自分のキャリアっていう面でも僕も正直ジャニーズ事務所辞めてずっと日本で活動できなかったですあのこんなにはっきり言ったことないですけどあの正直もうはっきりあの最初濁されてたんですけどはっきり言われたこともいっぱいありますもうジャニーズコンプライアンスで無理ですとかそれはジャニーズが何か圧力をかけてるとは別としてやっぱりそういう日本のあのミーハーっていうかなんかすげえからこうなんか頭下げようぜみたいななんとなく自分の上司があの好きだから自分も好きでいなきゃいけないとかそういうのはもう通用しないんでもうやっぱり時代も変わってきてるんでやっぱり自分の意思を持って自分が本当に大事にしたいものは何かって考えてほしいですね。僕はそれを音楽で伝えていきたいし背中で見せていきたいし今回のことで本当にたくさんのコメント今まで僕がアーティスト活動してて表に立っててジャニーズにいた時もこんなにあの熱いコメントはなかったのでそれはなんかかっこいいとかそういうのじゃなくてあの本当に人生を変えてくれたというか勇気をもらえたっていうコメントはたくさんあるので。本当に後悔はないですしこれで向き合ってなのでここからは僕はアーティストとして曲だったりステージだったりもちろんこれは消えることはないので MC で話すこともあるかもしれません音楽やっててでもそれが人生なんで最後死ぬ時は一人なんでなので自分に対していい愛を感動を届けていきたいなと皆さんに届けていきたいな,いいなと思います、はい、めちゃくちゃ長くてすみません。<笑>お願いします。As for the second question as to what has changed in my life since then, this is somewhat related or connected to the first question about the media as well. And I mentioned there's of course many different kinds of people, the same thing with reporters, with journalists, but also with the other people who I come across in everyday life as well. And what this has really come clear through this experience and through interacting with different kinds of people is what I truly value. And this is when it comes to who it is that will truly stand by you, not just in a sense of something material or superficial. When we compare, for example, for people who are pursuing these kind of things or money as, as their priority, you know, they perhaps cannot understand. Understand the words that I am saying. But the same thing with journalists as well. Some people, depending on what they, they hold of value, the way that they listen to me with sincerity and with love, thinking about if someone in their own family was to go through the same thing, to suffer in the same way, how they would want to protect them as well. And they want change in that regard. There are so many people who do indeed listen as journalists to them. These are the kinds of people who, both in my work and also in my personal life, want to continue to value. Not only value, but actually, these are really the only people that I want to keep having anything to do with as well. And these kinds of people are out there,、uh, they, they are around us. And so I hope to, to live in that way as well. 
But when I think about this entire situation, the person who is indeed suffering the most is my mother. When she had to hear what happened to me, she has to live through every day since then as well. There are, of course, many different things, many thoughts, many things that she is having to experience even now in an ongoing way as well. It might be all right for, for me personally, but there are many things which I feel I cannot even say to her, to my mother even at this time as well. And I just do not want her to ever have to go through such a thing ever again. Of course, there have also been many uh, negative words, comments directed towards my mother, including uh, of a defamatory nature as well, saying, your son is a liar, your son is just promoting or trying to sell himself. These are things which are continuing even now as well. But there are also, of course, many supporters too. However, this is not just something which is simple. When I stated that from now, I want to go forward as well. This is something also also because, not just for me personally, but for my family as well. I want them to be able to move forward and not uh, continue this as well. This is something which when I'm standing here, also as I say in interviews as well, when we look at the situation of even when, you know, Johnny and Associates as the, you know, this agency, this existence which provides the biggest dreams to so many people, the fact that this is what was happening behind the scenes. This is something which even for myself as a 15-year-old at the time when this was happening to me, I couldn't even really believe that this was happening to me. I couldn't, didn't know who to believe at that time. I didn't know where I should be putting my dreams, what I should be believing or what I should be thinking about when I was standing there on the stage performing as well. However, it is the people who have been supporting me, whether at the time when I gave the previous press conference, both family and also friends, it is these kinds of time when it really comes uh, out clear who it is that is truly standing by you. Of course, now that Johnny's has acknowledged what happened, it might be easy to say, oh, you're amazing, or it's good that now we're moving forward in this way. But who was it who was really standing by even at the time when they were still denying this, when the facts were not acknowledged as well? Actually, this is something which uh, I haven't uh, said until now, but after leaving Johnny's and Associates, I couldn't actually, within my career, continue to be active or to perform here in Japan. This is when there are words about you know, Johnny and Associates compliance, for example. It wasn't necessarily direct pressure from the company as such, but looking at within the situation and really the atmosphere that we have here in Japan in regards to this kind of the pressure when your superiors say certain things, you need to follow them, you think you need to stick within this certain way of doing things. However, that doesn't pass anymore. Today, we are in a different period. The times have changed. And when we look at what it is that we hold to value, what we hold important. For me, it is to be able to uh, continue to you know, convey this through music and to show through my actions as well. Uh, so while there may be many different um, comments which continue as an artist, uh, actually, comparing the amount of comments which I received today, it's many more than even at the time when I was active uh, as a Johnny's Junior as well. These are not just things saying, oh, you're so cool, but they're things saying really deep things like you've changed my life or you've really given me courage as well. Therefore, I do not have any regrets and I want to continue this both as an artist through my songs and through my performance as well. Of course, what has happened is not something which will ever disappear. I will still need to be talking about this, whether it's in you know, TV programs and the MC and so on, but you know that is life. But in order to move forward, in order to be able to love myself and to continue to move people as well, this is how I hope to proceed from now. Thank you, uh, Kawan-san, and thank you, Murray, for that amazing bit of interpreting. Um, Kawan-san, apparently we have permission to uh, extend, is that right? Uh, okay, well, I noticed some questions over here. Was there a lady over here had a question? You had a question, is that right? Yeah, and um, I see the gentleman at the back, and I see the lady over there, and I see the lady in the front, and I think that's probably going to be it. So the lady in the f at the back there, if you don't mind.
株式をいまだに 100% 保有していて、関連会社の10社でも取締役をこれからも務めるということで、あのこのままではあのいかに透明性をこれから持っていこうと言っているとはいえ、体制が変わらないのではないかというあの批判がの意見もあると思うんですけれども、それについての,あのご意見も伺えればと思います。My name is Okada of Gigi. I have two questions.、Uh, first of all, the new president appointed yesterday, Mr. Higashiyama, is, of course,、uh, someone from the you know, old period of j o h n n y s Associates, someone、uh, who can respect maybe as a senpai, but at the same time, perhaps there are rather complicated feelings or opinions, as he is, of course, someone who represents this period of the agency as well. So, your personal opinion on that. And the second,、uh, while Julie Fujishima、uh, is no longer president, she continues to hold 100% of the shares of the company and plays executive role in. Other、uh, related in subsidiary as well. So while the company is maybe talking about transparency, there are criticisms as to whether there is real change in its management structures. So, your thoughts on this? Well, the CEO's is a very difficult question. But, how do you think? Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to be a CEO. なので、誰もやれない中で、まあ、勇気を持って、まあ、東山さんが出られたのかなと思いますので、まあ、彼もタレントですし、あのー、タレントに罪はないと思っているので、そこはあのー、リスペクトを持って応援したいですし、ただ一方でその、じゃあ経営者として、本当に、えー、能力があるのかどうかとか、その辺は問われてきますし。うーん彼も自分自身で言っていましたが、本当に右も左もまだ分からないけど、こう、もうやっていきながら、もうやっていくしかないと言っていました。まあ、苦肉の策ではあると思うんですけど、まあ、今後、あの、社長って、あの、また変わったりだとか、あの、会社名変わったりだとか、いろんなことは、今後も変わ,る変わっていってもいいと思いますし、それは、あのー、そこはもう、最優先はタレントたちだと思うので、今いるタレントたち、事務所からしたら、と被害者の方々だと思うので、まあ、誰が社長に立とうと、まあ、そこはプライドとか、えー、抜きに、えーね、そういう忖度とかも、もう、かかって企業とかもそう、株も含めてですけど、プライドは捨てて、あのー、本当に一番、何が一番人にみんなにとってあのいい方向に行くかを考えながらあの決めていってほしいですね。はい So that's rather a difficult question, but what I think in regards to this, of course, in the current situation, there is nobody who would want to become president. So, within that, I think that Mr. Higashiyama was indeed brave to you know, stand up and take on this position. He himself is also a talent, a performer, not to blame in this situation. So, in that regard, I also have respect and want to support him for that as well. Of course, his capacity, his skill as a manager is something which is yet to be seen from now, and that is something which he himself said as well. He still has a, a lot to learn, and he will be doing that as he's going forward as well. But within this extremely difficult、uh, situation, I, I think that that was perhaps you know, a, a brave decision. When we go forward from here as well, I think that we may see also、uh, even further changes in the presidency of the company, maybe a change in the company name. There are many other things which I think could, and it would be good if they do change from now as well. But What should be the priority there is、uh, both the、uh, talents and also, or the current talents and also the victims, of course, there as well. So, no matter who is in the position of president, they really need to be able to you know, give up, throw away their pride, throw away sontaku, looking at just trying to you know, make decisions based on what they expect people want them to do, and think about what is indeed best、uh, to make a better direction for all as it goes forward. Thank you.、Uh, I saw the gentleman's hand here at the back, and I saw this lady's hand here. And、uh, Kanako san, do you have a question? Are you both the same? or? No? Okay. Well, let's see if we can just have this gentleman first, and then we'll have to make a decision on time, I think. Nikkan Sports Murakami, this is your school. I'm sure. あの今の質問にちょっとつながるような話なんですけども、あの川田さん、今日の会見の中であの、冒頭でやっぱりグルーミングと言われても、ジャニーズ,ャニーズさんへの思いっていうのはね
変わらないというような、あとエンターテインメントを教えていただいてという話をされたと思うんですけれども、一方で東山新社長は昨日の会見の中で、鬼畜の所業であるというふうに発言されたりですね、あとやっぱり、相場ないから、北川氏と呼んでるみたいな発言もされました、一方、井ノ原さんも会見の中で、何をしてくれたんだって怒りもにじませました。まあ、でもいずれそのジャニーさんのいたときに育った方が今、トップになる、果たしてそれでジャニーズ事務所は変われると、川さん、お考えでしょうか、あとあ、風通しも良くないとは、そういう発言も、それが一つ問題だったということが思想されてるんですけれども、川さん自体いらっしゃったときは、そういうものを感じたり、先輩たちにものを言えなかったのか、ことですね、あとやっぱりジャニーさんへの思い、変わらないでも、あの2人はやっぱりちょっと怒りを示して、その辺の温度差みたいなものをすごく今日の会見で感じ、そのあたりのお気持ちもお聞かせください。よろしくお願いします。My name is Murakami of Nikon Sports. It's a bit linked to the previous question, but in the press conference, you mentioned that even if what happened is called grooming, your, your, your feelings or respect in regards to towards、uh, Johnny himself is not something which changed. When we look at the statements which were made in the、uh, Johnny's press conference yesterday, both by the new president and also by Mr. Inohara as well, we look at You know,、uh, questioning in regards to whether people who were from that period when Johnny was at the top of the company can it really change as it's going forward. There are also comments in regards to it not being a very open atmosphere within the agency and able to be speak out. And I'd like to ask if during your time at、uh, Johnny's as well, if you felt that it was not able to speak out to your senpai and so on during that time. So, your, your feelings in regards to this? Uh, <laughs> あの感謝があるだとかそのグルーミングと思われたくないとか、まあ、そういう発言を僕はしたんですけどであの東山さんだったりとか日野原さんのはもう逆のことをおっしゃっていたということなんですけど、まあ、僕もスピーチで言わせていただいたんですけどあの感謝は感謝としてもちろんあります。それはやっていただいたこととだったりとか自分ができた経験だったりそれはジャニー氏という人間も関わっていた彼が作り上げたものの中で僕があの人生にとってすごい大事なものもたくさんあの得られたのでたくさんの人と出会いもあ,ありましたそれはあの本当に僕にとって大きなことで、うん、それは消えないことですしそして僕が、えー、ただそれはじゃあだだからといってそのじゃあもし彼がここ生きていてじゃあ,あの会うことなんてあったらそれはじゃあ仲良くしようぜとはならないですよねそうだから僕はその許すっていうのは受け入れる方ではなくて、まあ、施すの方施すと書いて許すと言ったんですけどそれは自分の自分が憎しみを持ったり恨みを持ってジャニー氏に対して何かをしたいもし生きていたとしても多分しないと思うんですよね。僕はそれはあの僕の人生にとっては無意味なことなのでそれよりも真実を知ったりだとかあの本当にこういうことは繰り返されない僕や他の被害者の方々含めて、えー、そういう経験がせめて無駄とならないようにあのこう子供たちに示したりだとか。社会に示すことによってあの示すことが意味があると思うので彼に何か復讐をしたり彼に何かをやらないためにも僕は感謝をしっかり持ってそして施すで許すとこを許して進みたいと思うっていう意味で僕は言っています。はい And so, as to the first question, as to while、well, still having some kind of gratitude or not wanting to be thought of what happened as, as grooming, and looking at perhaps how the statements that I've been saying are somewhat in opposition to what Mr. Hiki, Higashiyama or Inohara said at the press conference yesterday. As I said, I do still hold a kind of gratitude,、um, including towards、uh, Johnny himself as well, because of the experience which I Had through the, the company, through the world that he built up, is something which gave me many precious things in my life from there as well, including people. So, therefore, these are things which have had a great impact on me, which are not going to disappear as well. So, in that sense, indeed, there is, I do still have this gratitude. However, as to if he was still alive today and if I were to meet him, would I, say, would I want to get along with him? No, that's not the case. When I said before that, when I look at the kind of forgiveness which I am seeking, this is not forgiveness of just accepting what happened, but looking at how to have a kind of 
pardoning through this. This is the kind of thing I was referring to. Uh, whether I myself, even if he were still alive, would have a kind of hatred towards Johnny himself or want him to do something for me, that is not necessarily the case because I don't think that that would have any kind of meaning for me as well. Rather than that, looking at how to ensure that the truth is out and how to uh, ensure that this kind of things are prevented from happening again, both for me and for the other victims as well, to ensure that what we went through does not go to waste and ensure that how we can show this to the children and to the broader society as well. So therefore, in, in that sense, do I harbor any kind of feelings of you know revenge and so on towards Johnny? That is not the case. I do still harbor this kind of gratitude, but I'm looking at how I can indeed find some kind of way to pardon and move forward. あの、本当に変われるのかどうか自分は思ってるんですよね。まあ、僕の時結構取材でもちょくちょく言ってるんですけど、あの、本当にえっと、2012年とかなんで僕が入ったの12年前とかなんですけど、あの、え、僕はこ
of course, for each live performance, there was a particular you know, form of consent or, or some kind of document uh, similar to this. But as to whether, for example, you know, my mother had, had met the agency or whether they'd visited and so on, uh, that didn't happen at all. And I think that was the same for most people as well. So this created the kind of situation where the, um, you, know, you have to you know, learn from your senpai, learn from you know, the older talents, and their words are everything. You know, that goes for everything. which led to a lot of things where I did very much suffer as well. There were times when you know, my, maybe my, my clothes or shoes disappeared all of a sudden one day, times when you would be you know, kicked by the choreographer, these kind of structures which were in place, including also bullying and violence, was something which was too much of a, a peculiar or a very particular situation that at the time I thought, well, that's just how it is. That's what the situation was. Uh, during the period just uh, before, uh, or the, the period shortly before Johnny uh, passed away, this was one, there did start to be certain changes where contracts were being put in place. There was a change in uh, choreographer, the personnel there as well, for example, and things did start to see some kind of improvements. But as to what the situation was like when I was there in regards to that, it was really terrible, um, that atmosphere. And so the fact that that was starting to change is uh, something which I think is very good. And as Mr. Inohara mentioned, as well, and what I hope from now as well, when he looks at you know the faces of the children, thinking about how to make sure not to pressure them, how to look at how to fulfill their potential in a more positive way. I hope that that is the direction that they will go from here. Thank you. And this will be the last question. The lady who has been waiting for a long time. Yeah, if you can make it one question. Yeah. <laughs>共同通信の変わらないところもあるのかなと思うんですが、その点について何かあのお考えとか見解があれば教えてください。my name is Mayama of Kyodo. Uh, you mentioned that when you spoke out about what happened to you, that did in a way open the door to Johnny and Associates. But at the same time, I think it also had an impact looking at how society sees the issue of sexual abuse against men as well. Uh, of course, we, I think we still have a situation here where it is very difficult for people to speak out about this. But I wonder if you have a comment on this issue. Yes. <laughs> が明らかとなって男性でもそういうことがあると。チャレンジ、ま、橋田さんをはじめチャレンジしていくと思うんですけど、僕も、え、そこは行けたら行きたいなと思う部分があるんですけど、あの、僕はその で、それはさっき言った、え、誹謗中傷もあれば、その応援もあれば、その中でしかもその自分の性被害を打ち明ける人がたくさんいて、え、じゃあ先生にやられたとか、親にやられたとか、え、友達にやられたとか、子供同士
、まあ、それはやっていった方がいいんじゃないかと。それは何かないかと。話をしているときに、まあ、ダイヤルがあるじゃないかと。相談窓口っていう。いや、それは、あの、僕見たんですけど、なかなか子供が相談しづらいような内容だったりとか、もう、すごい、もう、ゴリゴリ感じの、感じでなんか、市役所みたいな、あの、ダイヤルなんですけど、誰が電話するのそこにみたいな、あの、ところで。で、電話した後、誰が何をしてくれるのって、保証は何がされるのじゃ僕が15歳の時にそこに電話したら誰が守ってくれるのって、いう話なんですけど。まあ、そういうのが、あの、あるので、まずは、それダイヤルも、もっとこう、子供が電話しやすいようなとかも、もう漫画帳でもいいんですけど、変えたりとか。あとは、その僕がすごい言ったのが、あの、薬物ダメ絶対。っていうのがあって。で、薬物ダメ絶対っていうのが、あの、小学校の時に僕ら習ったんですけど、あのー、まあ、友達から、こう、飴玉をもらって、これは可愛い絵だけど、ピンクのね、飴玉で、先輩が目の前で食べても、これはこう、薬物だったりするんだよ。で、これは後遺症がこんなのがあって、で、実は違法でこんだけ、あの、捕まるし、あの、後遺症もこのぐらい残るよって、で、断り方もこうだよとか。っていうのが、で、相談はここだよ、みたいな。っていうのがもう、キャラクターがいて、漫画帳で説明していたので、まあ、僕はそれを思い出して、ヒアリングの時に、その場で。あの、性加害ダメ絶対をじゃあ作ったらいいじゃないですか、みたいな。それは子供に教育していくってことですよね。結局、子供が自分の身を身を自分で守らないと。僕はその薬物のことがあったので、本当にその時見て、いや、それは騙されるわ、みたいな。先輩に渡されたら食べちゃうよね、っていう。ところがあって、それは性加害も、アメリカの方では、あの、実は、えー、教えてるところもあって、えー、ここを、じゃ触ったら、レッドゾーンだよ、みたいな、場所があったりするんですよね。で、子供わからないじゃないですか。僕も15歳ですら、こう、びっくりした。もう衝撃的だったんですけど、それを子供が、なんか、もっと小学生の時とかで、大人にされてもわからない。で、大人になって、あれは違う、あれは恥ずかしい、あれはもう、トラウマなんだっていうことになるので自分の身をも自分で守れるようにそういう性加害のダメ絶対とかを教育に取り入れていく行動だったりそれを法改正もできれば確かにその今の法律で十分かもしれないけどあのやっぱり国レベルでそれ許さないよとこんだけ社会問題になってるんで国レベルでのこうアクションでそれが皆さんが見るのであのちゃんとあの、それをこう、注目されて、広告じゃないですけど、ちゃんと地区にとしてこう、やりますよっていう。レベルになるので、それは大事なことなんじゃないか、それ両方やるにことに意味があるんじゃないかっていうことを、あの、言わせていただいたので、はい。僕はそういうふうに、あの、行動してます。はい。And in regards to your question,、uh, I think about when I、uh, spoke at the Diet hearing about the issue of、uh, the legislation and so on against、uh, abuse against children as well. And I think at the time, well, now when there is a discussion or a chance at the Diet, there is a chance for people to hear from those concerned who are impacted by this as well. When I see people like Mr. Hashida, for example, speaking up, I hope to encourage and I hope these voices of victims to、uh, stand out and share this kind of impact, and I hope to be able to contribute this as well.、Uh, but at the same time, I would say, when, for example, looking at this situation and the many cases which occur of this, whether you're watching TV or one thing which has happened since I、uh, spoke out and announced what happened, I'm receiving so many direct messages on social media. Of course, within those, there are some which are defamatory, there are some which are messages of support, but there is also a huge number of people coming out and saying that they have been through similar things themselves,、um, saying what they have experienced the abuse at the hands of whether it is a teacher, a parent, siblings, or even Other children, how traumatizing it is for them, even now receiving these really huge, very long messages、uh, in direct mail as well. So, I'm very glad, of course, for their courage, which gives to me as well. And in regards to that, as I said in the hearing, legal reform or looking at how to have some kind of improvements on the current legislation in regards to this is important.、Uh, but within the discussion, with whether it's lawyers or politicians and so on,、uh, in regards to this, I also wonder about if there are message,、uh, methods other than just through legislation as well. Well, there are, of course, telephone counseling services called dial services, which have you know, hotlines for children to be able to call up. And I looked at what is available for them, but I think they're very difficult maybe for children to access. They might be all written in kanji in Chinese characters. They might look like something, some very official documents from the city hall, something which is maybe not easy for a child to pick up the phone and call. But then there's also questions about if they do make that call, who is it that they talk to and what happens after that? What are they going to do for them? 
If I had made that call myself as a 15-year-old, would something have been done for me? How would I have been helped or protected? So I think one aspect is making these kind of telephone services easier and more accessible for children to use, whether it's making them in manga, for example. And when I was speaking at the hearing, what I was reminded of is the No Drugs campaign, which I saw and which was uh, part of our official education within uh, the schooling here in Japan as well. This is when it had these characters who were showing you're being given you know, a pink candy from one of your senpai and they're fooling you into taking this, but what kind of long term impacts that that have, what kind of criminal uh, you know, circumstances or um, you know, implications that might have. And this was all being done using you know, characters or manga, which is something which really stays with children. You can remember that in a sense as well, which makes you think what kind of you know, campaigns, for example, could we have for children to learn how to protect themselves? I understand that in parts of the United States, there is, for example, education or teaching about children saying, you know, this part of your body is the red zone. This is not where other people should be touching and this kind of thing as well. But I think for many children, they are not aware of this. For me, myself, even at 15, it was something which was so you know, shocking and difficult for me at the time. So when I think about if it was a elementary school age student and if an adult is doing something like this, of course, you, you, you know, don't know what's happening or you believe what they, they are telling you and so on as well. So I think some kind of education for children to be able to learn how to protect themselves as is done in the anti-drugs campaign is something. Of course, legal reform is one point, but I think that should be done together in parallel with this kind of national level uh, public or education campaign uh, as it has become such a social issue now as well to ensure that it is not permitted and that this is understood or educated. I think these two together will have meaning. Thank you. Um we're finished, but uh, Kawan-san wants to make a final statement. Is that right? Second word. Everyone,今日本日あの集まりいただきありがとうございました。え、皆さん、今日本日あの集まりいただきあの本当にありがとうございました。え、最後にあの一言だけ言いたいんですけど、あのどうかね、え、皆さんも、え、人生本当にいろ